I think that it's unfortunate. I think it's it's going to make things harder to find when you know, when you need health care. I think for people in my situation, it's going to be harder to be able to get that care for your child. It's going to be nearly impossible. And and uh, I I don't have anything other to say. I think it's horrible. I think it's awful. You know, I was always searching for for insurance, just waiting until we could financially be able to afford it. Um, if something hadn't happened and the nurse hadn't told me about it, I don't know. I don't know that I would have. Everyone at the clinic um, welcomed us back with open arms. They had had their own little party whenever they found out the pathology of the of the tumor. So they were, ever since we've been back there, it's, it's, it's kind of like a, you know, a family there. Home they, from home. they, they have been wonderful to us. They have extended every kindness and everything they can do to help us. They have never hesitated to do anything they could for us. And, uh, you know, when I found out that they were shutting down the clinics, uh, I was gonna die. it was really, really sad to me because I just thought about somebody else being in a situation like I'm in and not having that as an option. You know, even, I mean, at this time, even... Even just having me not having that option anymore, it's... It, it's sad because we know everybody there and they've been a very important part of our lives since all this has happened um, and they're very concerned and always, you know, always concerned about Ashton.